but all I guess there's ten of those movies that we've released, and I've really enjoyed all of all of those shows. Um, of course, the newest Lupin business to look out for would be the new Fujiko 13 episode series that will be coming out, and you'll get to see some of that cast reunited. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. Are you uh, now? You say cast reunited, like Funimation cast, because Pioneer and Genie on also one. Uh, it's not the exact Funimation cast. It's a little bit of a hybrid. But I'm not going to tell you who's who just yet. We're going to let that drift oh, okay. a little bit. So you I'm guys think about that and we'll surprise you later. Cool. But I think you'll be happy with some of the casting decisions that we've worked on. I can tell you that Chris Sabat's come back to work on that show. So he's uh, be lending his, his same services to it as he had previously. Do you have a favorite character from there? I'm sorry? Do you have a favorite character from there? In Lupin? Yeah. Absolutely. Lupin. <laughs> <laughs> Super thief dude. Hello. What's up? Is that the original uh, voice actors for Dragon Ball Z going to be in the movie? Unknown. Uh, I mean, at this point, we haven't made any announcements regarding the movie, and to my knowledge, it hasn't been released yet in Japan. So, we've kind of got to go through phase one, and then once we get to phase two, we can start talking a little bit more about it on this side. I can tell you that we would we would make every effort to try to bring back bring back the cast for sure. That'd be awesome. Yes, sir. I don't want to stop throwing this question, but did you like Evolution at all? I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I, have a, I have a thing on this. No. I didn't. I mean, from a movie perspective. From the perspective that through the world of Dragon Ball Z in front of a mainstream audience, lar a theatrical audience, larger than that that it may have hit via broadcast over the decade it's been on, I think that was really slick. I think seeing toys back on the shelf for a few months and years was pretty slick. I mean, even the ones that hung around on the clearance shelf. Anything that anything that really helps bring the bring the focus of an audience back to the franchise, whatever it is, it's hard to say. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of the toys, like I remember back in the day, they looked really creepy. When they all came with guns? No, no, like, they had, like, a, like outer skin for Super Saiyan form. Right, and then, right. And, like, the back is splayed open to pull them out. It was so weird. It was a very, that is kind of weird. <laughs> it was a very set of toys. There's, you got no, no, uh, no, no argument with me. <laughs> Anybody have any questions about how the show has been put together or differences over when we were recording back in 2000 versus 2012 or any kind of technical or production related type questions? Anything? Yeah, that's back there, Goku. That's a really good question. The world of Dragon Ball Z happens as canon within, of course, the episodes themselves. The movies act as satellites to the series, so they don't necessarily help further the ongoing plot of what the... Uh, you heard it here first, two. there's a plot in Dragon Ball. Oh! So they don't necessarily move the plot forward, but what they what they do tend to do is, is provide a little bit of a... Uh, not necessarily backstory, but provide a different element for these characters to kind of interact with them. So it's almost like, like in the comic book world, it's like when they'll do a series of, of comics that take place on World 2 or, you know, Natural Earth or, you know, all these different kind of, kind of feels. So it's more satellites to the series. And I think that they did that so that, uh, Toye did that, so that it would reach larger audiences on a theatrical basis without having to have seen 500 plus episodes of the series. That's, some of that's hypothesis, but, you know, I, I believe that's really where, it's at, where, where, the, where the story comes there. Yes, sir. Yeah, I would like to know, uh, how do you feel about the 4Kids version of oh, DBZ? Uh, oh, oh. The 4Kids version? Yes, 4Kids Entertainment. I guess I've only seen the Ocean version. Oh, it, who's, the, who's the, I haven't seen it. Are you sure it's 4Kids? But you mean the Ocean version, the original version? I guess both I think that it was a very good dub. I, I didn't have any troubles with it whatsoever. And I think that it introduced the world to these characters and, and you know, and to that show, and at that time, I believe that that was a good, you know, good kind of way in motion that it went. Now, in retrospect, I'm extraordinarily thankful that the production facility moved down to where I could get a job there. <laughs> but I think that we did a really good job of trying to bridge that gap and bring it over. So there you go. Right. You were in, you know, doing the voice acting for Dragon Ball. Do you ever have to just 
just start screaming? Did you ever have to scream as as normal? I think everyone had to scream in Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> like an yeah, I uh, I've done so much screaming in Dragon Ball Z. I, when Boo died, I I actually passed out in the booth and fell on the bottom of it. And my engineer Chris Bevins is it was like on a Saturday afternoon, you just gonna hear this still microphone. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> I think we might have to get it one more time. <laughs> oh, no! But, uh, yeah, part of the, I guess, vocal regiment of dra being in Dragon Ball Z is, you know, you having to... <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I mean, there's possibility for a live-action movie of anything, but I don't know if anything ever works. I can imagine the insurmountable amount of trouble. But with movies and where they're coming now, and with Prometheus, or the Marvel movies that have been coming out, I mean, you would think they'd be able to really jump in and make something happen with that. It's all going to depend on who the director and production company is and what kind of vision they have for it, you know? Sometimes I don't want to see things remade because I like them the way they are, and I don't want to see them redone, but... There are exceptions to that rule, as we all know. There's different movies that we thought the AT movie was great. You know, people took away from the series, but some people might disagree. With that. Yes, uh, behind Vegeta's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. As many of you may have seen from various Chris Sabat panels across the years, I am just as big of a fan of it as he is. I think it's absolutely the abridged version. I think it's great. And Yu Yu Hakusho, too. But anything that's abridged, I think, is very clever and, and extremely funny. Absolutely. And I, what really I enjoy is the fact that there's a, a group of fans out there who have taken their love of the series and then projected it into this new form. And, I think it's great to be able to realize, I guess, there becomes a physical entity of what it is your appreciation of that show is. I think that's pretty slick. I think it's a, a pretty good pat on the back to Akira Toriyama and, and just the whole world that he created. I needed it. So you got seven drag balls. What do you wish for? Ooh, Jerry. Mm. <laughs> seven more. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Is that legal in Dragon Ball world? I don't think it is. I'd rather get like 45. There are only seven Dragon Balls. Only seven Dragon Balls. Per planet. Okay. Um. Technically speaking, there's 21 Dragon Balls. We're getting GT on you. Technical. <laughs> Not only does it have a plot, it's technical now. Oh. Dragon Balls is heard tech first. <laughs> Occasionally, <laughs> when it gets back to it, yes, it has a no, I the 18 episodes of Frieza. Anybody <laughs> 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 remember back almost, uh, I guess it was almost 15 years ago now, but where uh, there was a PSA commercial that had been cut together using scenes from the Frieza Goku fight against violence? <laughs> I have not seen that. <laughs> What'd you say? Where did we find this? Wait, one at a time. Because I just Where do you find it? Where do you find it? I'm not exactly sure. You can, that's probably a great YouTube search to do. But you get. No, okay. Well, we'll find it. Thank you. I guess just world peace. I don't know. Good for you, Jerry. But then Dragon Ball couldn't continue. So never mind. Huh? Don't I have hair? Did someone shave me and didn't you? No. It's not, I, I would kill someone. <laughs> really, I would kill someone. I think my wish with the Dragon Balls would be for Toye to find yet another way to somehow bring Dragon Ball Z again back to Oh, yeah! The world. Okay. Good answer. Ooh, Good nice. Answer. Yes, sir. Um, okay, so you have the Dragon Balls. Cure cancer or bring Krillin back a million times? <laughs> I think I'm going to say give Krillin a nose. <laughs> 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 <la